Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel, Cedric here in Antwerp with a brand new brew review. Today we are tackling number 18 in the Mr. Hops Beer Bible Advent Calendar, so the end is in sight. Uh, 18 is right here. Now we have had some very different kinds of beers, so every day is a surprise with these guys. Uh, okay, I like this can. I've seen some in this style uh, in, in the drink center where I often come. Uh, it is by Bird Brewery. Um, I think the only one I've had from Bird Brewery was an alcohol-free one, but I seriously doubt that Mr. Hub will add alcohol-free beers in his advent calendar. Um, double Wizen, 7.4%. Now I am curious whether they mean uh, a double Wizen as in like a normal double beer, like with extra, extra malts. And it's called Kake Toekomst, uh, which is of course again a wordplay. Um, Kakatu is, well, the parrot, the kakatu, and Komst is a coming. So the Kake Toekomst is the coming of the kakatu. Um, but also Toekomst is the future. So actually this is... Uh, yeah, I could, you could say the, the future coming of the cockatoo. Um, I do see a logo here, Club Cockatoo or Cockatoo. So let's see, there's a lot of text on this can and I'm gonna go over all of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected. Uh, they are working with Club Cockatoo and Sun Guy Watch uh, to build a trash barrier to get the plastic soup out of Indonesia. Apparently they are gonna get 20 metric tons per year out of the rivers uh, in Indonesia. I can only applaud that. Uh, Club Kakatoa is a good cause. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, making the planet greener. And open and transparent. Again, only applauding that. World Collab Tour. In the World Collab Tour we help pioneers with concrete projects. For every initiative we brew an exclusive beer and profits help realize their goals. Okay. Beer and flavor. The Kaka Toekomst is a full double Wizen of 7.4% ABV with a great doses of hop. A very hazy, full beer, a rich beer, but deliciously drinkable. Okay. Water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops and yeast. Uh, yeah, very, very, very curious. Let's take a glass and see what this beer gives us. Not exactly the color I would expect from a Wizen. So I think they used a lot of barley in this uh, next to the wheat. It is Pretty hazy. Uh, ooh, I already smelled the banana in there. Uh, but this is very, very pretty hazy. It's a uh, coppery gold, coppery blonde. Um, some off white, nice, dense, thick foam. Uh, just the way I like it. Uh, some bubbling going on there. So, yeah, very nice. That is really, really wise and. Uh, yeah, this might as well be an Erdinger uh, or something like that. So I get the idea of a double Wizen. You do get that slight, uh, slight acidity and a lot of banana, of course. Uh, yeah, let's see what the flavor tells us. Yeah. 
exactly what I expected from a double Weizen. Um, this is what I call a chewable beer. Um, it, ha it has a hell of a lot of banana in there. Um, I'm guessing a lot of residual sugars as well because it's pretty sweet too. Um, it's a bit sweet and sour like you would expect from a uh, yeah, from a Hefe Weizen. Um, and it, it's, uh, I know I'm being a bit laughable, uh, but it's absolutely not bad. It's not my cup of tea, but it's absolutely not bad. Um, well, I say not my cup of tea. I like this kind of beer, um, but for one, <laughs> I'm not going to order three of these in the night. Uh, Yeah, but it is quite nice um, once you get past the banana uh, and that typical wizen flavor um, it does get a bit more complex uh, i think that the hops contribute to that uh, more fruity tropical uh, flavor palette uh, and the fun thing is that in the aftertaste the banana actually disappears and you get some nice uh, dry and herbal flavors. Um, so this is one of those beers where I actually like the aftertaste more <laughs> than the initial taste. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Okay. Now this is one of those funny cases because uh, going into this beer, I expected not really to like this. Uh, so I thought, yeah, we got another two and a half or 275 in our hands. Um, but after a few more sips and actually thoroughly analyzing, um, I must say that, that, yeah, it's a pretty decent beer. Um, so I guess I am going to give this a 325. Um, yeah, and also I like the fact that they support a good cause with this. Um, nonetheless, uh, yeah, nice beer. Uh, initial flavor, a bit strong, uh, a bit too much to my opinion. Uh, same goes for the nose, but beautiful color, beautiful uh, texture and the aftertaste is great so overall a pretty decent beer uh, well done bird brewery and they were already on my radar uh, like i said i've had one of their uh, alcohol free beers and that was pretty decent as well so i am gonna look into this brewery as well uh, now uh, yeah i am looking into visiting breweries next year uh, and they are quite high up on the list now. So, yeah. Let's hope that works out. Okay, guys. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah. What can I say? I'm very grateful for you all returning. Um, if you like this video, let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Or uh, leave a comment down below. If you want to support this channel, spread the love, share a video somewhere. And if you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon and you will get notified whenever I upload something. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Cheers.